You're probably gonna wanna think twice before you throw a rich person under the bus. Here's why. I wanted to tackle this because I get the impression that a lot of people are talking and saying things from a point where they don't quite understand how markets work, how risk works, how the game is played. And I say game because that's what it is to these people. And it just so happens that the game is, this, the scorecard is in money. Well, that seems like, it. no, it's just, that's how you keep the score. If you've ever played a sport, then you understand. If you've ever played an instrument, then you understand. You know, you're gonna get some sort of score. That score is based in some sort of numbers, a scoring system. Any sort of competition has numbers associated with it. And if you've ever done any sort of competitive situation, from chess to instruments to some sort of athletic sport, there is a numerical value assigned with the game on how to score it. And in the world of business, that numerical system just happens to be dollars and cents. It happens to be money. So, but let's think about it because a lot of people, oh, the rich, the richer this, the richer that, and you know, rich, and then fill in the blank something negative, which is really, really misplaced. Now, yeah, I get it. You can go and find somebody that had a silver spoon and everything just handed right to them. But in many situations, let's just kind of look at how people, let's see how the rich actually got rich. So first off, there's a guy named Mark. And Mark went and he created this thing known as Facebook. Maybe you've heard of it. So the question becomes, okay, he created Facebook, but what about value? Is there any value in Facebook that he created? And you're, maybe you can answer that question. Like, well, I have a Facebook account. In fact, everybody I know has a Facebook account. And in fact, it's, it's actually kind of like in our, our language now. Hey, yeah, just Facebook me. Or So yeah, I would say check right there. He added value. But in doing so, because he added value, what occurred? He got rich. He got really, really rich. But did he get rich robbing people? Did he get rich screwing people over? Did he get rich? No, how did he get rich? He provided a service. He made value. He's doing very well in the game of business because that's what the game of business is. How can I create something of value that people are worth paying for? Now, yeah, you don't pay, for, uh, you don't, you don't pay to use Facebook, but you, you are willing to be there. And because so many people are willing to be there because the product is of value, guess what? Advertisers are willing to pay to be there because they know so many other people are there. What about this? There's a guy by the name of Jeff. He made it easy, easy. All caps, put the box around it to get stuff. Stuff, you name it at this point in time. I don't know. Maybe you've used it before. It's called Amazon. So the question becomes Does Amazon offer what? Value. I don't know. I have an Amazon account. I've bought many, many, many. Many things off of Amazon. You're probably saying, yeah, I, I have too. Well, it's looking like we all like this part, part right here. Easy way to get stuff. So once again, value has been created. And guess what? Jeff Bezos has made a whole lot of money. And then let's do this one more. There's a guy by the name of Steve. He got to the point where music, data, friends, camera, and the list goes on and on. But what's the cool part about all this? 
Oh yeah, you could put all this right in your pocket. Known as the iPhone. Which, to just show you how valuable it is to prove my point, I don't even have to tell you what company this is, right? Apple. And guess what? That provides value. All these things, it's pretty cool that we have this contraption that we can put into our phone, or into our pocket, excuse me, that offers all these things. I mean, camera, you talk to somebody, you talk to me, I'm old enough, where I can say, it's amazing that I have a phone that I can stick in my pocket that takes way better pictures than anything that was around you know, when, when I was in high school, or heck, even when I was in college. It's insane, the amount of value that Steve over here has created. And of course, because he created all this value, Steve Jobs, as you may know him, he got absolutely rich. So rich people don't get rich just by some random, just, oh, I'm rich. Again, I realize you could, well, such and such, his, his parents, he inherited it all. Yeah, that's true in some cases. But in many, many cases, people are getting rich because they are bettering me. They're bettering you. They're offering us value. Well, who, who, are you to, who are you to define? Who are you to dictate value? Not me, the market as a whole. And the market as a whole has spoken. Facebook, yeah, quite popular. Amazon, pretty much taking over the world. Apple, their products they offer. If nobody thought they were valuable, nobody would buy them. And if nobody buys them, guess what? Steve over here doesn't get rich because nobody's buying his services because nobody finds them valuable. You buy what you find valuable. You buy what you actually uh, you know, need and that's how these people are getting rich. So to look down on rich people, to imply that they're greedy, to imply that they're this, that, or the other, well, I mean, the, the, and when, I, when people say that, it's, it's the, most, the most ironic part is, you're a scumbag, you're rich, the greedy rich, and then they're taking video they're taking like crisp, high definition video with their phone as they're persecuting the rich. It's like, do you realize where that nice technology came from? It came from somebody that was rich, taking a risk with their money, playing the game and putting it out there. Because there are lots of failed businesses that occur too. Obviously, I'm picking like three of the most successful. But the idea here is all these people had to take risk with their money. They had to take risk with their time. And because they did well in the game by making something valuable, people are, are willing to pay for it. A lot of people are willing to pay for it. And that's how they got rich. So just remember, the next time you wanna say something negative about a rich person, I don't know, maybe check your pockets, check your clothes if you have some name brand. You know, just look around. My, my guess is it was a rich person that actually created something that you were able to afford and put into your life that is making your life better. Thanks for watching the video. If you are interested in the top 10 links that I use on a daily basis to manage, to control, and to build my finances and to make them efficient as possible, then down below in the description, if you're watching this on YouTube, description, if you're watching this on moneywithclay.com, then just down below the video, you can click on the link and that'll take you to these links that I use on a daily basis that really allow me to work smarter and not harder.